This is a complete 23-0 gun jet assembly. And what I'd like to show you today is how to disassemble it and reassemble it. Uh, first thing uh, that I do, or the most important thing, is depressing the trigger valve when you're going to be taking the wand off of the trigger valve. Uh, just take a wrench, loosen the uh, nut that is part of the wand itself, and slowly and, and gently unthread the wand, making sure that this small seat valve that sits between the mouth of the trigger valve and the wand stays in place and stays in position. Its positioning is, is critical. A lot of people, when they remove the wand, whether it's been damaged or simply worn, they're unaware that this valve seat is, is sitting there. Sometimes it's covered with colored anchor seal or paint. So they take the wand off and the valve seat will fall out. The important part of the valve seat is that it, it sits in this area and it keeps the trigger valve, it, it, it holds it in position so that product can't flow past and out the end of the wand when the uh, sprayer and the spray hose is under pressure. If this isn't there to receive that, that needle valve, product will, will be able to flow right past it, um, dribbling, uh, but you know not spraying, but still losing product. Um, so again, making sure that this small valve seat stays in position. There are two parts to the valve seat. The smaller uh, part uh, that you can see most of the nylon, again, that's where the trigger seat, the trigger needle uh, sits into. That goes into the mouth of the gun. The wider brass, uh, the diameter, the wider um, part of the uh, um, valve seat, that sits on the mouth of the gun itself. So making sure that this is put back into position correctly, you depress the trigger, place the smaller part in the mouth of the, the gun, the wider part will then sit on the mouth. Gently take the wand, the nut that's on the wand, place it over the valve seat, making sure it stays in position, and then slowly and gently hand tighten, and then snug it with a wrench. The second part of the wand that's critical is the tip. And to replace the tip, again, you just take a wrench, loosen up the retainer cap, unthread, remove the old worn tip, replace it with a new tip. The wider part of the tip then sits on the mouth of the wand. Gently hold it in place, make sure that it's positioned correctly. Take the retainer cap over the tip, thread down, and tighten with a wrench. Very quickly, there are two tips that are mainly used uh, on this particular uh, assembly. A 2504 tip uh, and a 5004 tip. The 25 04 tip uh, has a narrower uh, spray pattern, which is used mostly to coat uh, logs and to get into very confined areas. The 5004 tip has a wider pattern and it's used to spray the ends of lumber bundles. You want to cover more area quicker. Again, 2504 narrow logs, 5004 wider the ends of lumber bundles. And that's a, a complete 23L gun jet spray wand assembly.